start a new file and then create uh, with the English unit standard IPT begin a new sketch on right side view this time we're starting with the YZ plane this time what we're going to create is that uh, section AA profile and without worrying about inside part just the outline of that so this is one way you can approach that so if you can sketch something similar proportion to that sketch then we come back add dimensions make sure to add all the constraints and relations and if we can fully constrain this profile and we have done major part of this project so let's go ahead add some uh, relations and dimensions we began with uh, adding the parallel re parallel relation between these two lines and uh, if this happens to you just you can drag that and make that shape similar to what your profile is supposed to look like and that dimension is given 0.75 and this angle also given 20 degrees okay we make sure that add this length of this is given 1.5 and change to aligned by right click change it to align 1.5 and now we Check with your assignment sheet and add all the dimension. This one is also aligned dimension. Make sure you right click and select aligned and then type the 0.35 for this one. And we do have another little short vertical line there is 0.25. Okay, so far this is the shape we have. It, and now one of this point here is the critical one that you need to make sure constraint otherwise would behave like this so this one has to come down and to be aligned with the origin actually that's the one if you can make that one and in this icon if you notice y is parallel to is a horizontal direction so make sure select the vertical relations even though it looks horizontal but we are using this icon here as a guide because we started with from the from the right side view so that makes it different what appears to be horizontal actually is the vertical one okay you always go with this axis here so those are the parallel already exist so what else we are missing one more dimension let's see what that dimension is the angular dimension here if you pick those lines that would be 30 minus 180 that would be 150 degrees so that's the one uh, it's given on your handout sheet as 30 degrees on the detail drawing detail c okay that seems like it's fully constrained now we need to extrude this after we finish the sketch when you extrude uh is good idea to keep this both directions and then select two as overall depth or extrude height equal to two and now we need to do more some um, some more modification here select the face and make a new sketch on that face create a rectangle two points rectangle would be fine we could be snapped to that corner on the upper right lower right corner and then pick another snap point there so all you needed to do with one dimension that should be constrained if you snap him correctly as you notice it's fully constrained with that dimension which would be one uh, actually point five. Point five. that's right point five. Need to extrude cut make sure through all and that remove the material on that section and then we need to add um, there's an adjustable hole on this face that we select as a 
work plane and use the slot tool for that adjustable hole you may select the center to center option and this one given diameter of 0.3 or radius of 0.15 and then we give the location center to center location is given 0.75 And what else we need to know? And we need to add location as far as in reference to the left edge. Left edge is about, um, it actually is given 0.5 from the center to the left. That's 0.5. And also we have one more dimension, 0 0.37. 0 0.37, we need to add that one too lock in that vertical direction 0.37 needs one more dimension that most likely is the relations in reference to center of the origin center of the adjustable hole to the to one of the center so make sure that you have horizontal relations there need to use the extrude cut all through oh, okay that completes that portion adjustable hole we have another hole on the face that we need to select as and this hole is going to be um, if you check the your assignment sheet we have 0 0.5 0 0.5 for that hole size and also location is given make sure you change the diameters first 0.5 and there's a little extra okay 0.5 and now define the location by selecting the on the upper edge you have distance of 0 0.5 0 0.75 on the left and 0.5 on the top okay now we, the corners are rounded uh, there are five uh, radius of 0.25 fillets all are, are the same size so we can do either um, those separately or we can do it once if we can rotate them and see all of them at the same time you can. so maybe you just finish that and then add in the radius of course 0.25 And then we need to, um, yeah, probably we finish this and then we can add the dimension on the next one. Okay, I was thinking to do all of them once, but let's uh, let's finish this one. And you can rotate and then do all of them once, actually. It's just a matter of, okay, let's just do this separately. Okay, that should complete. Right. Now we add the uh, material and other information and you have completed this project. Maybe you want to change the appearance if, uh, without changing the material. Keep the material stainless steel for this one and change it to uh, stainless is blue uh, blue still blue and then we have annotation on the general note and add the information
Okay, once you complete all the information, make sure you save your work. So that concludes all um, our modeling completes. And then we talk about how do we get uh, auxiliary view actually on the next video and include the sectional with auxiliary view and detailed drawing.